Hello, my name is Carl Quinn. I'm joined here in the studio by boxing writer and manager Stephen Sharp. He's going to talk to us about his involvement in Irish boxing. So Stephen, tell us a bit about yourself. How did you get involved in boxing? Um, how are you, Carl? Um, I suppose I'm involved at different levels for, for a good few years now. Um, I suppose I initially got, you know, I suppose, started to like boxing from my cousin. Um, yeah. Paul Griffin was his name, and he was an Irish amateur boxer. Um, he was a European gold medalist, and he boxed in the Olympics and that. So I, I gained an interest through Paul, I suppose. He used to go and see Paul box all the time. And, um, and then I went into secondary school. Um, my PE teacher, his name was Philip Sutliff, and he was uh, an ex-Irish boxer, ex-Irish Olympian, and he'd won two European bronze medals. So, uh, so through Phil then, I, I became involved in sport, and became involved in, in Crumlin Boxing Club. Um, and then I boxed for, for a couple of years, and then there was a skin condition that made it difficult for me to box, so I kind of stopped boxing at a young age then, and went into coaching, and I coached mm. for a couple of years in Crumlin Boxing Club. Um, and then I took a gap, there was a gap there for a couple of years, I went to college and done my degree and, mm. and then you know, a couple of years I got back involved in, in writing um, a bit of boxing journalism for uh, BoxingIreland.com and eventually opened, uh, set up my own boxing website, mm. greenjab.ie um, and from there then you know, got involved in, in, in the bits and bits of promoting and stuff like that um, mm. and eventually then into you know, working with boxers, managing boxers. Yeah, so. so tell us about the boxers that you managed today. Um, there's a couple of lads I'm working with at the moment. Um, young Philip Sutliff. Young Philip yeah, would be yeah, an ex Irish champion. Um, so he, he turned pro um, a couple of months ago. So I'm looking after Phil. Um, you know, uh, Willie Casey. A lot of people would know Willie. You know, mm -hmm. I'm delighted to be working with Willie at the moment. Willie's an ex European champion, box for the world title. Um, another Irish, um, former Irish champion, Carl Brabazon. Um, a, a kid, he's going to make his debut soon, Ryan Peak. I work with his brother Brandon, um, Liam Finn. So there's a couple of, a couple of lads there that, yeah, that I'm working with at the moment. And could you tell us what a boxing manager consists of? Um, <laughs> I'm still figuring that out for myself. But uh, no, it's, it's basically, you know, plain and simple, it's, it's, it's looking mm -hmm. after, you know, the needs of the, the yeah. fighter, you know, getting them fights, um, you know, in terms of, you know, a big part of it would be um, mm. promoting, you know, getting the, the, the fighter's name out there. Mm. Um, whether and you know whether that's through you know interaction with, with with general media press you know through my own websites and um, so just the general kind of promotion of the fighter mm. would, would be the main aspect of it getting them fights you know developing relationships with other promoters yeah. you know so you're keep, keep trying to keep your fighters busy you yeah. know that's that's the challenge you know so what was your best moment so far in boxing um it's funny, you know, as you go along, you reach little kind of yeah. milestones and, um, you know, for me at the start, you know, because I've always been a fan of boxing, mm. you know, meeting certain fighters, you know, yeah, it used to be huge to me, you know, yeah. I remember meeting Bernie McGuigan for the first time and being a little bit awestruck and, you know, and then as I start writing, you know, getting my first article published on, on BoxingIreland.com, um, uh, going there, Leonard Gunner, he's a good friend of mine now, he, he published me first article, article and that was huge and, yeah. and then I got to write for a couple of uh, fight programmes and um, I got to write two articles in, a, in, in Willie K when Willie Casey boxed uh, Guillermo Rigondeau for the world title in Dublin mm. in 2011, I got to write some articles and that, that was huge, you know, then actually, you know, managing a fighter was huge, then, you know, f um, having a fighter box, you know, in high profile fights and you know, so as you go along, kind of, you know, you reach different milestones, and, and as a boxing fan, just to be involved yeah, in something involved that I love, you know, and I've loved this since I was, I was young, you know. Yeah, it's always something special. Who do you think are the top Irish boxers at the moment? Um, all the guys I work with, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, in, t in terms of prospects, definitely, um, young Philip Sutliff um, would be, would be, would be one that. I believe, you know, as an amateur, he was quality, you know, mm. and I believe he can, he, you know, he'll definitely bring that in, and he is bringing it in as a professional. Um, but we've lots of, you know, we've lots of good fighters, you know, domestically, um, you know, the likes of Stephen Armand, I'd be, I'd be a fan of Stephen Armand, I think yeah. he's very good. Um, who else would I be? Um, there's the likes of, the like of Spike, Spike O'Sullivan. You know, there's a good, you know, then outside of Ireland, then you have the likes of Macklin and Lee, you know. Mm. I think probably at the moment, Carl Frampton would be, would be the one fighter, you know, that I kind of 
you know, you're looking at him and you just can see, he, yeah. you know, he's, he's going to go places. But there's lots of, lot there's of, lots of good kids, yeah. There's Luke Keeler's a ton professional, and James Tennyson up the north, I'd, I'd like him. And, you know, so there's, there's lots of good kids out there. So who do you think is your favourite Irish boxer of all time? Um, I suppose, you know, when, when I'm asked that question, it's always, you know, I always separate amateur and professional yeah. boxing. Yeah, you know, as, as in terms of amateur boxing, you know, I've always, you know, you know, part of it maybe because he's my cousin, but Paul Griffin, I thought technically, yeah, would have been one of the best amateurs I've ever, ever seen. You know, he, mm. he was amazing. Um, we, we've lots of, you know, Katie Taylor, she's outstanding. Mm. Um, there's lots of, we've lots of guys at the moment, you know, John John Evan, Paddy Barnes, Michael Conlon, all these guys, you know, world class. Um, but probably Paul, Paul Griffin is an amateur. For me, he would, 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 would have been one of the, the greatest, one of the greatest, you know, for in, in my time. As professional, as in terms of professional boxing, um, so Steve Collins would always, you know, when I was younger, I got to do a lot of Steve Collins' fights yeah. when he boxed Joe Bank and that. So he'd always have been a, a hero of mine. Um, and Bernie McGuigan, obviously, you know, I remember yeah, as a yeah. kid watching. I think it was only six or seven watching him winning a world title. So yeah. you know, Bernie be up there as well. So what do you hope to achieve in the long term? Um, I suppose every, you know. But, you know, someone involved in, with, with a boxer, you know, that they, that they make it to the very top, mm. you know, and that's, that's always the dream, isn't it, mm. that you, you work with a fighter who eventually wins you a world title. Yeah, I mean, you know, that would be the dream. But, uh, you know, just, just to stay involved and be successful, there's lots of, you know, there's mm. lots of levels of success, you know, and, and not every fighter makes it, you know, to, to that level. You know, mm. there's domestic success yeah, as well. For yeah. some fighters, winning an Irish title is mm. massive, you know, and... And, uh, and for others, you know, European level, and you know, and if you're lucky enough, you know, but very, very few, you know, get to the get to the very top. But uh, but yeah, like that would be the dream that you'd be involved in the fight that wins a world title, or, you know. And the boxing, you know, for me as well, you know, the boxing starts to flourish again in Ireland. You know, it has mm. been a real struggle the last couple of years. Yeah, you know, at the moment there's no television involved, the RTA yeah. are not involved. Um, so you'd love to see, you know, it start to pick up again, mm. and, and hopefully. You know, with, with, with some of the young talent in the country at the moment, the likes of young Philip sort of and that, that, you know, the television might start to, yeah. to, to get interested again, you know? Because yeah, there's, there's a lot of skilled boxers out there, aren't they? They yeah. just need to. I mean, get the, out there yeah, one of the, you know, in terms of particularly amateur boxing, you know, we box way above our weight for such a small country, yeah. you know, we're, we're one of the top, top five nations in the world, you know, every tournament we go to now. We're bringing back gold medals and silver medals, and, and you hopefully know. people start getting a bit more into Irish boxing. Yeah, you think back to life a you bit think more. after every you know, you know, even after the, the last Olympics, and I was over mm. in London and seeing how well the guys did and how well Katie did, and and you kind of think you know, television and you know, they, oh yeah, it's definitely going to kick off again. And, yeah. But I just you know, for some reason, you know, our national broadcaster seemed to ignore mm. our most yeah. successful sport, you yeah. know, and. I was watching the um, the horse show last week on RTE, and I kind of yeah looking and don't get me wrong, like you know I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with, with horse jumping, mm. but in terms of the success that Irish boxing brings to this country and the you know the attention it brings on the country, and uh, and when it comes to our national championships, like they just give it an hour, the finals, they you know they show one or two fights, and and it's very very skimmed over, which is which is a pity, you know. Mm. Alright, so thanks for coming in today, Stephen. Thanks very much, Kai. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thanks very much. That was Stephen Sharp giving us an interesting insight into Irish boxing.